Hey, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. This My Raspberry Pi 4 Goes Octopi Next video has been doing pretty good for my channel. Nearly 6,000 views, lots of likes, lots of comments, and I'm really happy about that. But the last two comments have indicated they're having problems getting their Raspberry Pi 4B to connect to Wi-Fi on the latest version, this version 0170. So I figured I had to do uh, walk through again just to make sure I wasn't misrepresenting something in this video. Of course, I'll leave the links to the download and the Wi-Fi setup troubleshooting guide. They're very clear here to use the Octopi WPA supplicant text file. Uh, I found this pymylifeup.com referred to the old file even though they've recently updated this article. So I was caught off guard by that and I wanted to explore it. There was some talk about uh, not including the quotation marks in the file. You've got to retain the quotation marks in this WPA supplicant file here when you put in your details. And of course, you also have to go down to the bottom and change the country as well. We'll step through all that and let's see how it goes. Again, you can look for all the links for the description in this video below. Here we are downloading the 0.170 octopi version here here we see the file has downloaded now it's a zip file and we're opening it in Bellina etcher selecting my sd card and we're going to go ahead and flash it this takes some time so we're going to crop that out we'll be right back we actually cropped out over six minutes here and you can see it's finished Basically, Bellina Etcher actually uh, ejects it in Windows as well. So you have to remove the SD card and plug it back in to get it to detect. So I just wanted to settle this question because I found this PyMyLifeUp.com uh, website with old information. Even though the article was recently updated, they still have the incorrect file name, the OctopiNetwork.txt. But we'll go ahead and confirm that. Instead, when you open that file, you actually see it points to use Octopi WPA supplicant text. So, we've confirmed what the correct file is. Let's go on to configure Wi-Fi now. So, I'm going to uncomment the lines in this network section. And make sure to keep the quotes for the SSID and the password. Leave the quotation marks there. And we'll type in my SSID and password. You should use your own here. Then you want to go to the bottom and uncomment your country code or you might have to add it. So we eject that SD card and take it over to the Raspberry Pi 4 here in the print room. And then we come back and ask Alexa to switch on that outlet for us. And I go on my router, and of course, I already have a DHCP reservation for this MAC address for the Raspberry Pi here. So let's open that web address. And in an anticlimactic fashion, we can see everything's working just fine. Here we are at the setup wizard, which tells me I'm at the Octopi startup. And Wi-Fi is, of course, connected to get here. So here, let's whisk through setup. I'm not going to give the blow by blow here. If you've used Octopi, you've already seen all this, but I just want to get to the point where I can operate the printer and confirm the Octopi version and the Raspberry Pi version. Defining the various printer parameters for the Ender 3. Okay, looks like we're ready to connect. Just want to check the camera works, yay. And I'm able to move the bed around. And I'm able to home the Z axis. All right, let's go into settings about, and we can see here the Octoprint version. And let's check the Octopi, and you can see there it is, the 0.17.0 on Raspberry Pi 4B. So I wish I had a better answer for my folks posting questions about why Wi-Fi doesn't work. 
I did do an update to the Raspberry Pi 4B. You can check it out in this video here. I'll leave a link below. And you, of course, I'll leave a link to the original Raspberry Pi Octoprint video on my channel so that you can go through in greater detail step by step. This was the quick run through to see why folks are having problems. And unfortunately, I can't confirm uh, some of what I've seen here. Uh, somebody left the quotes out around the SSID and the password in the Octopi. WPA supplicant text file. Somebody else had was questioning the poster's uh, power supply, and that's all I've seen. So I can't really speak for anything else at this point. But thanks for uh, stopping by Shotoku Tech. Please subscribe to Shotoku Tech so little Jimmy can have legs, won't you? Thank you very much.